So now in this video, we're going to look at the uh, NPN, Bipolar Junction Transistor, wired as an emitter follower, also commonly called a common collector. I wrote voltage follower here, that's really more accurate for op amps. But in uh, any case, I think it's still okay to say voltage follower. So what it does, it takes the voltage in and you get almost that voltage out. So that's going to be a fraction of the supply voltage. And uh, you get almost the voltage out but minus 0.6 volts because of the base 2 emitter diode drop right there. But otherwise, that voltage gets put across that resistor and any load that uh, you may use. So, let's uh, get to the build. It's really not complicated at all. And I have here a, a 2N3904 NPN bipolar junction transistor middle or uh, left pin. Let's do first is emitter, middle pin is the base, Right pin is the collector. If I turn it this way, now it lines up with what we see on uh, the schematic right there. So I'm going to put the middle pin to uh, that jumper there. That is the base and the uh, top pin here. I think I'll move it over one spot. It's going to that jumper which goes directly to the positive rail. As you can see there, we just make a direct connection to the uh, positive rail. Now, we're going to take the uh, trim pot. So this is our voltage divider. So we get a fraction of the uh, supply voltage. Right now it's set about halfway. We got the resistive element, the two end pins, and then the wiper, the middle pin. So you can see that on the schematic. We've used this a bit in uh, a number of videos. So I'm not going to go over that too much. But in any case right now we got about half the supply voltage. That would give us the full supply voltage. And then this will give us the uh, negative rail zero volts right there so now all we gotta do is take a 10 kilo ohm resistor and uh, that value doesn't matter it can be a quite a bit large value resistor though and uh, put it to ground not to the positive rail there we go so a 10,000 ohm resistor and that is it for the uh, circuitry we can add a load but uh, before we do that let's get the uh, multimeter and take some multimeter measurements so now we have the uh, multimeter, the uh, black probe here. I got the alligator clip and the jumper. I discussed that before, so I won't go into it anymore. The uh, probes stay in their normal spot. We just move the red probe if we measure high current for this meter. Other meters may be different. So I'm going to go to the uh, negative rail with the uh, black probe right there. Those components aren't connected to anything, so I don't have to worry about shorting anything out down there. Now, the uh, red probe, we're going to put to the other side of the uh, resistor. So we'll zoom in so that uh, we can see that a little easier and put it where it's not connecting to anything and we have the other side of the resistor which uh, is the uh, voltage at the emitter right there. So we will turn this on and you can see it's about 5 volts right there and so we can adjust it to what we want. I really like the 5 volts but uh, we can lower the uh, voltage to uh, nothing and then I raise the voltage up to about a diode drop below 12 volts right there so in any case we're gonna light an LED with a 220 ohm resistor so 5 volts works pretty good and I'm gonna set it up uh, slightly higher than 5 and you can see here that we will move this jumper from the resistor up one spot right there and you can see we got that diode drop so that's the actual voltage that I set with the uh, trim pot it's right across from uh, that orange jumper in the same row so I'll go back to this spot here so as I said before the goal of this video would be light and LED but with 220 ohm resistor so the voltage should be about 5 volts approximately and uh, we could go slightly higher than that but not a whole lot higher with the uh, voltage so I'm going to the emitter once I get it in there straight and uh, there we go so we're one spot away from that gray jumper we will grab an LED so remember long lead has to be more positive short lead cathode has to be more negative there the LED lit and looks like the voltage got thrown off a little bit but it's holding uh, 5 volts uh, pretty well and uh, it's going uh, back up I think as the transistor warms up but uh, in any case 
there you can see we held about 5 volts so it's not perfect you know it'd be better to use a voltage regulator but uh, with 5 volts across the resistor and the LED we expect a little less than 16 milliamps of current but there's some other uh, components passing a little bit of current so that's kind of about what we expected so that's it for the circuit uh, pretty simple uh, but it's a nice way to get a voltage out that's not the supply voltage that will hold uh, pretty steady as long as the supply voltage doesn't change because we're using a trim pot we're going to look at other circuits where you can change the power supply voltage and it's going to keep holding the output steady so uh, stick around and check out the upcoming videos I will see you in the next video.